Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I'm really excited to share this experience with you. So I had a friend of mine who is an engineer at a local power company. Me and him is pretty close buddies. And he calls me to do electrical work on his house from time to time. He calls me up and he says, hey, my son is smelling some burning at the house. Can you come check it out? So we make plans for when he gets off work, we go over there. And when we get there, it smells nothing like electrical burning. It smells like a dentist's office. It smells like plastic chemicals maybe it smells like even just a liquid chemical but it smells nothing like electrical burning so we get over there and we dig through the house you know we're thinking maybe his son brought something in that smells it almost smells something like that you know so we look around and around crawl underneath the house we look all over absolutely nothing had a couple of our workers come out look all around still can't find it well after about 30 minutes of having all of them in there. So this would be a total of five people looking for this. We finally found it and it was here at the doorbell. Now we've all heard the horror story of the doorbell, the kid outside holding the doorbell in and the old transform transformers in the attic and it burns the house down or catches on fire. And we're all like, oh, you know, but we've all heard a story or variation of that. Well, that's exactly what almost happened here. We're going to talk about why and some of the things that you can watch out for when you're out troubleshooting. So hopefully this video will add some value to you and you will in turn add value to others. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. This is what ended up having the terrible smell and I wish I could put the smell through the camera for you because it's just hard to describe the smell. It kind of smells like a dentist's office. It kind of smells very strange. I knew that it wasn't anything normal electrical. After a while, we just, you know, couldn't find it. I was like, well, you know, maybe it's one of the modems. Maybe it's a surge protector. And if you look here, these are the two strikers. This would be the rear and the front. And it was actually on the front where this happened. So if you notice here, it's actually stuck inside of there. So this is stuck inside of there and was who knows how far out from, you know, catching on fire. The smell had started earlier today and thankfully we were, you know, able to find it. Very thankful. So the striker actually got stuck inside there. So it's just sitting there constantly, you know, sending the call for it. And I don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg. And I'll explain what I mean here in just a moment. What was so odd is we went down in the crawl space and right under there was the doorbell transformer. It wasn't hot. There was no, or yeah, the actual transformer part. It wasn't hot. There was nothing funky going on. There was no smell in the basement, but sure enough, this is what it was. I went to the switch and I took apart all the components just to make sure something wasn't sending a call. I even disconnected the transformer and we're just going to redo the whole thing for him because I don't think it has anything to do with the wiring. I'm thinking that this was the culprit, that it just got stuck in there, if you look down in there. And I'm also thinking that this might be the culprit. Now, you'll notice that it's rusted. Hopefully, you guys can get a good view of that. You'll notice that it's very rusted here and corroded, but I'm gonna, hopefully, I can get it to do it again for the video. But I was actually able, there we go, first try, was able to get the switch stuck. So it's now closed constantly, which would be constantly sending the call which would be locking this in, forcing it possibly to get stuck, you know, after a period of time. So I don't know if it got stuck when someone tried to ring it, but that's just something that you have to watch out for right there. You know, if you push in the middle, I don't think I've been able to get it stuck yet, but I've been able to get it stuck pretty consistently. There it goes again at the top. So it's actually stuck in the closed position, meaning that it's constantly sending the call and eventually was going to start a fire on this home or who knows what it was started. But we've all heard that horror story and you guys can drop it down in the comments below the variation of the story that you've heard that the kid was outside ringing the doorbell and the next thing you know, they had a fire at the house. He was out there holding this, you know, holding it down. And I'm always real conscious when I push a doorbell, ding dong, want to make sure that it comes back out. This one's very stiff, but it's something to be mindful of when you're out in the field. The biggest takeaway that I wanted you to have for today was the smell. And like I said, you know, it, it smelled very plasticky, very like, you know, like chemicals. And now if you think about it, you know, when you sniff, but it smelled like a board burning or something like that. And if you look here, it does look like, it does look like it may have been getting hot there. But I just don't know. And maybe here, this would have been where it was connected to the transformer. And then this was the only switch leg. And there was no rear on this one um, at the house. So with that being said, you know, you probably could have just moved up to here and been done with it. But I just don't do stuff like that. We're cutting the whole thing out. My buddy wants it done right. He's a uh, electrical engineer at the power company. He wants it done right. But long story short, I really want you guys to take away from this one that just because it doesn't have that traditional electrical smell to it, 
doesn't mean that it's not dangerous and that there's not something going on. There was definitely a smell going on inside of here. So if you get a weird plasticky smell, think about the doorbell transformer when you're out troubleshooting. It's a smell that I've never smelled before, but now I'll know exactly what to go look for. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and I hope that these uh, real-world scenarios that we run into out in the field add a little bit of value to you and that you'll in turn add value to others. I hope that, uh, you know, it's funny how things happen to me in life. Somebody will teach me some strange story or tell some strange story and then two days later I'll see it out in the field. So if that ever happens to you, you guys can come back and let me know that, hey, I saw the same thing happen. That way we can all learn and grow as a community. I am the Electrical Code Coach and I've dedicated my life to help you become everything that you can be in life and business. If there's anything that I can do for you, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it. This video is brought to you by electricalexamcoach.com, offering the number one electrical exam prep series. We have the pro version with the unlimited testing center and the free version without the unlimited testing center. We have interactive flashcards. We have full online lessons with videos and practice tests at the end. We also have unlimited practice testing on every topic that you can imagine for exam prep. This program comes with 100% full support from us here at electricalexamcoach.com. We just want to see you win. Let's get to it.